uh, you need to watch this. Um, there's this great series, uh, Voices of the Past is the name of the channel, uh, which I of course never forgot, I remembered that all along. Uh, Voices of the Past is one of my favorite channels on YouTube. It's a person who I think is based in Hong Kong, and he just takes all sorts of ancient uh, historical accounts, but rather than like telling history, there's all sorts of awesome history documentary you know, channels on YouTube, but this guy does something uh, generally on the channel. He takes the accounts of different people in history, and you know, like for example, the accounts of a soldier in Napoleon army describing what it was like you know marching around starving and being in battles and whatnot uh someone that takes ancient you know roman uh, uh history writers and so on and he actually rather than describing the history of them he actually uh speaks in the first person you know he speaks about the account of uh you know arab travelers who saw a russian uh funeral taking place in the middle ages and, and all these great things are all they're all done in the first person all, all of course uh of by of the speaker and often the original accounts are not in english often they're translations of course but it's wonderful it's, it's really well presented and it gives you a really great sense of the the history as if it's being told to you by the person uh that does it. it's one of my favorite youtube channels this person decided as a special project to break from the first person narrative uh type approach and do the series uh which he's taken a lot of time they only put up two episodes so far so far i think i actually uh plugged the original episode of this which was the uh the account of how japan's interactions with the west are uh, basically starting from the 15th century um so episode one he actually gives like a general history narrative but he tells it in a great storytelling way it's one of the honestly it's one of the best accounts of Japanese history uh, that I, I've seen I've, I've heard it's mostly I think it's mostly you can listen to it there is a, there are illustrations but it, it, you can totally just listen to it um, the f first one goes up to the Meiji period uh, 1865 and the the latest one which just went up this week 1865 to 1905 just talks about how um, the incredible um, it, it is a for want of a better term as a descriptive term it was a cultural revolution in Japan this was the time that Japan became uh went from being a a, a third world uh kind of weird isol self-isolated backwater to suddenly being by 1905 when it defeated the russians uh all of a sudden a sort of a uh a, a nation that was in many ways on the top you know that was aiming to be on the top tier of nations and arguably sort of got there and it was that whole rapid ascent and transformation of the society. I mean, really, on a level like aliens landing and converting the society had such a profound effect on Japan. Um, and, and talking about that period of that change, including the internal rebellions and civil wars, including uh, the way that the ways that Japan rapidly went from being this isolated samurai uh, country to a country with a modern military that actually um, it talks about how um, the British were alarmed when they were when they started realizing that the ships that the Japanese were commissioning the British to make for them were better higher spec and better than the ships that they were making for themselves. Um, the way that they had Prussian military trainers come and train them and again they 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 learned and and soon they were superseding and this all came together in 1905 of course another episode coming soon but talking about this whole thing just as I was before about the way that Japan ended up or Tokyo ended up in the firebombing raids in 1945 it was part of a line that you can really draw that started in 1865 but of course understanding how uh, Japan got to 1865 and its interaction with the West until then. It's a fantastic series. Uh, Voices of the Past on YouTube and specifically, you should watch, you should listen to episode one first, but even this one just on its own is just so well done. Uh, highly, highly recommend this. Please go watch it after this or when you have time. Anyway, how Japan became a great power in only 40 years. I mean, it went from a kind of, you know, from, from a, a, frankly, a kind of Myanmar or Laos or, you know, a country that was very isolated and very, very rooted in, in traditions that were centuries behind um, and, and suddenly becoming, um, you know, as those countries uh, sort of became after, I mean, even more dramatic than those. I don't think there's another case in human history of a country sort of... Uh, rising technologically and changing socially so dramatically so quickly um especially without colonization um so really remarkable time period and uh highly recommend go go watch this man that was only supposed to be a two-minute plug but it's, it's worth the plug that i just gave it so please go